Hey, I want to talk for just a moment about why what you sell doesn't matter. Whoa, what did he just say? Yeah, what you sell does not matter as much as you think it does. When, when I ask salespeople, what is it that you sell? I'm quick to hear something. Oh, I sell this type of system or this type of computer or, or these service. And that's not what people want. People don't want that. What they are looking for is they're looking for solutions to their problems. Now, here's a little bit of a dilemma we have. One, customers sit there and think they know what they need, but they don't know what they need because they don't know exactly what their problem is. This is where you come in. See, this is the big thing of what you sell. What you sell is you're selling solutions, you're selling outcomes. You're helping them overcome a challenge. And what you sell is really irrelevant. It's just to get the conversation going. Let, let me give you an example. You see, what I sell may help me get the conversation going. Okay. So in other words, it may help me get the meeting, but it does not get me the sale unless that's exactly what the customer is looking for. But see, what the customer is looking for may not be what they need. It's my duty, my responsibility as a salesperson to come in and have that conversation with them to get them to really fully share with me what the challenge is. You see, my job as a salesperson is to be a clinical psychologist. I'm a clinical psychologist helping you uncover more deeply what your challenge and your opportunity is. Because here's what happens. So many times what happens is the customer goes out and buys something that they don't really need. They think they need this, but that's not really the answer. All you have to do is go to, go to any store and, and notice the vast number of returns that occur. Or, or go to a UPS store or a FedEx location and see the number of people bringing in packages that they're returning because what they ordered isn't quite what they wanted. You see, the role of the salesperson is to help you see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. That's what your role is. But in order to help you see and achieve what you didn't think was possible, I, the salesperson, first have to understand your needs. Now, what does that mean? I, I'm not going to be able to understand your needs unless you trust me enough to share with me what your issues are, to share with me. You see, you see what you really sell is trust. What you sell is trust. It's not what you sell. You, you thought you sold widgets. You thought you sold this piece of machinery. But what you sell is trust. Because when you sell trust, then what happens is the customer is now confident with you enough to be able to open up. This is a huge, this is a much big, this is a much bigger issue than people realize. Much bigger issue than people realize. People think trust is almost secondary, but no, no. Trust is the cornerstone of the decision that's being made because of the value proposition and the price that comes from the value proposition. You see, because th think about this for a moment. If, if, if I have a medical condition, and I go to a specialist who specializes on that medical, medical condition. And they tell me what my issue is. I'm going to believe them. I'm going to buy in. I, I'm going to believe it 100%. If how, on the other hand, I go to somebody who is not a specialist in that, but, oh, they stayed at a Holiday Inn last night, or they played one in a movie, and they tell me, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to believe it. You see, here's the whole thing. The more specialized we become, the more trustworthy. Let me take this medical example and go a step further. You are in need of brain surgery. You want to go to a neurosurgeon. If, however, you found a great uh, hand and foot doctor, oh, wow, he's the best or she's the best hand and foot doctor. Wow, amazing. Hey, that's fine, this hand and foot, but that's not, that's not neurosurgeon. You want a neurosurgeon. You see, what am I saying here is that the level of trust is reflected upon your level of expertise. So you got to stop and ask yourself, do I create expertise with my customers? 
You see, what does it come down to? It comes down to one very simple thing, creating trust with your customers. What you sell, you are selling expertise and trust to create a level of confidence in the mind of the customer to believe the value proposition you have put in front of them to justify the price you want them to invest. Back that up, play that again. But that is the key to sales. Hey, I want you to check out the Sales Hunter University. Go to thesaleshunter.com. We have a tremendous number of courses available, and I want you to learn right now as to how you can become the best salesperson out there, not to sell the widgets, not to sell the, the machinery, but to sell expertise and trust. I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Great selling.